Hello and welcome back. We're playing the Ball Collective and we are starting the uh, the uh, f fluid fluidic space. Fluidic? Yeah, there's no e. It's 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 fluidic apparently. Um, research into opening a portal to fluidic space continues. However, the uh, resource required have grown substantially. Process um, process request a large investment from the collective energy reserves. Um, Let's proceed. I don't. I'm not sure how this will uh, will go. I'm hoping that my fleets will be ready in time um, to prepare ourselves because I'm. A, I'm, 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 I'm. Oh, this is so exciting! Um, looking very much forward to this one. Uh, I can't help myself. Let us see. What is this? I still don't have shields. Not that the shields help against them, but uh, still. Let's at least get all of that out of the way. Are we building up a harvester? Uh, weapons targeting range. Uh, interesting. That's the one that we actually were doing over here. Uh, did you level up by this? No. That is unfortunate. But what can you do? Uh, go here and assist in the research then. I haven't looked at my complexes in a while though. And I don't think I will start anytime soon. Unless numbers are getting red, and I don't like red numbers like the bionutrition. I also um, I'm aware that I'm I'm not playing with the Borg, um, the Borg AI or UI, uh, but I, I like this one. It's it's clear to me. This the Federation um, UI or AI or UI whatever. It's uh, it's easier for me to read, and also it's just food instead of bionutrition. Actually, no, it is bionutrition. But it has the food insignia instead of the, um, the weird complex one, which I can't use anyways. Can, can I really not do anything? Ah, oh, it's so annoying. Do I not have a level 3 scientist? Well, I'm, I'm sure there's one here researching. You. And there's actually a, a bunch of them. We, we could um, flip them out. In terms of research, we're, we're still very low. Even though we are making 3k per tick. Um, we should be well um, on this, the, the highest place of uh, of normal empires, I guess. Let's see. Yeah, here we go. We're on the seventh place, and the rest is all about fallen empires. And we might even be. Um, let's talk to you. You are inferior as well, angry and inferior. This is so, this, that's so gorgeous. It is really, really gorgeous. I can tell you that. Uh, you are done. Let's go and harvest the hell out of you. A whopping 10 pops. That will bring us up to 800. Yeah, we might as well just send one fleet back. How about you? How are you doing? Uh, no, it's actually this, this one, huh? Yes, it is. Um, fleet free, so this one. So one cube is going to be out in a second. Now, if we are going to war with the Valf or whatever, uh, I, I'm not. I'm not sure if they will beeline towards this one. So if things go sour, uh, we could pick up where we left off and just settle ourselves in the Alpha Quadrant. If there is still interest in this series to continue, that is. Uh, if not, then uh, it's fair enough. There we go. War exhaustion is uh, at the top level. Uh, still not sure if I want to give back territory. Um, what will happen is they will start colonizing. And that is going to be very annoying. Oh, here we go. We got a peace offering. Wow, the Soren League is just being... An is the Dominion has been having a war as well. The Dominion is actually doing a very, very well job. Still pathetic, but they're doing fine. Um, someone's offering peace to the Borg. Yeah, you know how that will go. We'll, uh, we'll drag it out for as long as we can. Maybe we are able to get another planet out of the way. Which is fine. Twenty-six. Damn, that is such a fine number. And I'm sure that we can upgrade. I'm sure we can upgrade any of all the Borg ships.
Man, so much. Yeah, luckily for us it will um, go away by itself, but still. Oh yeah, we, we needed to upgrade all of these, right? Let's see. <clears throat> Let's just do it. Like, uh, naval... How about you? Naval... Yeah, you're not ready yet. And um, You can upgrade as well. You can upgrade. And that would leave us to three more. We can actually buy more alloys if we want. And we'll, apparently I want that. Because I clicked without thinking. Upgrade you. Research has been completed. Oh yeah! Tactical cube, guys! Oh, that is nice! Let's do it! Um, 25 months! Tactical cube, that is... Uh, that's interesting. Only 25, that's, that's a little over two years. Um, that could happen in this episode. And as, as, if we give back the territory... Maybe. Maybe we should. Uh, give the uh, the Erosians some chance to do anything. Look, they have 58. So, they, they could actually do quite fine. They would be strong. A sue for peace? No way. No way. We don't need no peace. Go away. Uh, you. Are you almost ready? How long would we take? Oh, uh, we could potentially take this planet. Let's go here. Um, it's only 10 pop, it's not the greatest, but still. Let's send you over here as well. Uh, the government, government e-fix we don't care about. And it, it would be bummed if we uh, would have to surrender, you know? Killing ourselves because we are very much into wars. We're going to be freeing a lot of territory over here. I'm going to do it. Nevertheless, oh, here we go, Flumetic. Fluidic space. Efforts to open a portal into um, fluidic space have been successful. The collective now has the means to enter the domain at will. Initial sensors telemetry suggest evidence of an intelligent life. However, this is not certain. Several options are available. It sends a large fleet. Whatever. Let's go. I wonder how this uh, will end. <laughs> <laughs> we might need Captain Catherine Janeway to save the day. We might not do. Another peace deal, huh? Yeah. It's it's nice of you, but I don't need you. Look at that! A whopping fleet of 134. Amazing. Love it. Love it. Incredibly. I wish that it was going to be in your enmity, uh, in your anomalies or your situation log that you're doing a event thing. <clears throat> Commercial pack's been broken. It's so excited. That is truly exciting. Three cubes in here. Let's see what it will do to a station. And the station is already firing at my construction ship, but it will soon... Start shooting at something else. There you go. Okay, that's the defensive fleets. Uh, the nursery has been done. Uh, administrative cap then. Is that cube just going inside of the planet? It is. Wow. But it ended already. So that's really nice. Let's make sure that the uh, construction ship is doing whatever it is that it is supposed to be doing. And building a mega structure here. 228 days. We have 377. The colony harvest will be successful by the time this war will finish. And we did a lot of damage. Oh boy. We did. Uh, we got a, uh, a good 200 people, I guess. We don't need you. I wonder how this uh, event is going to be. Look, I'm, I'm really excited about this. You are moving back. 
full strength full strength yeah i think it might be look at this there's there's, there's another cube going resupplying the fourth fleet actually uh, i believe the second yeah this is going to be the second fleet having the, uh, the first fleet with three or four cubes is going to be very very lovely But still, transwarp conduits, uh, transwarp gates or wormholes would have been very nice. Not only for me, but also for the other species. I think um, I either have to play with scaling off instead of on. Or the other empires will need a boost against the Borg. Uh, even though they say it is kind of wonky at the moment. If you are playing this as a, uh, a human player, it is, uh, it is fun. I can tell you that. It is really fun. It's been a long time since I had so much fun playing an empire that is overpowered like crazy. These are going up there. You are meeting, I hope, with some ships. Two are almost going to be done. Look at that. So 70 and 50. So it's not far apart. Perhaps a year. Hmm. Let's see. This has all been done. Maybe get more defensive grids, I don't know. No, you can't. In terms of defenses, we can't add any more. And this is this is bugging me, I'm sorry. Um this is really bugging me. We are so much higher in technology. And yeah. Oh well. You are doing fine over there. You might be fighting this fleet. I want to see how that one goes actually. Uh, what will you do? Will you attack this fleet? I don't care if, if, you, if you don't. But it is crawling. And I believe that in the, uh, in the series the cubes were actually gaining on, uh, on Voyager. How is that? That these these won't won't gain. Now this is of course a game, and you can't have everything. Oh, this tactical cube is going to be bloody awesome. A cube has provided an efficient vessel design. However, a species with a comparable level of combat technology poses a threat to it. Whoa! To ensure the resistance is futile, a series of uh, series of upgrades can be made to make the cube more resilient, maximizing. It's tactical efficiency functions. Higher density. Yeah, it's so nice. Really, really, really lovely. Let's see. Research alternative. Let's do it. Leader experience gain plus 33. That would have been very nice. Complex drone output would be very nice as well. Let us see. What do we get? Ship weapon damage plus 7%. Scientist level cap. And this intrigues me, the level cap. So can we just only go to like level 4 and not increase? How does it work? Who is my highest you? Oh, I did turn it off right now, I didn't. So let's just take the level cap just to see what it will do. Now, this one is going to end. Might as well just settle status quo right now. Send the offer. Uh, yes, you will accept. That is uh, very true. Uh, let's wait until these two merge. Talbot station can uh, re be removed for all I care about. Can't do anything decent with it anyways. Come on now, merge together. Make one amazing looking fleet. Of four cubes. An epic moment. In our history as the Borg. There you go. A 35k fleet. That is glorious. Really, really glorious. Instead, um, let's just... I don't know. Should we give back territory? Uh, 
And let's get rid of you as well. Look, the chances of them doing anything towards us are going to be slim to none. However, they will be spamming colony ships like there is no tomorrow. And that is not something that I would prefer. So, I'd say let's keep it. And there is Omega. What a cool name. How are you doing? You're upgrading fine. Let's upgrade you. You haven't been built out completely. That is uh, that's something. Uh, you were not mine. Definitely not. Let's downgrade you. Not dismantle. Not yet. Just downgrade. This one's well downgrade. We don't need those. They will just um, costing us money or energy. We don't need that. Look at this. They have they stretched out? Have they stretched out? Is the no no? This is an arm. This is an arm. So they 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 haven't stretched out. That would be glorious. No more borders in the game of Stellaris. That should be update um, 3.0, I guess. No more borders. Uh, some hunters and some other things are now fighting for supremacy. Can we fight you? Simulation wars. No, we cannot. There we go. Tactical cube. Nice. Housing 6. Oh, F yeah. Housing. Finally. That's been time. Let's, let's take a quick look at the tactical cube. Um, which is over here. Oh, wow. Oh. No shield still, but look at that. Oh, wow. That is insane, I can tell you that. Warp speed is, is a lot higher. Hmm. Chances to evade. Base ship evasion. Evasion of 9.9. .9. Yeah, you're getting hit by everything then. So good. Looks so nice. Auto upgrade, please. Save you, yes. Is there anything I want to be changing here? But it looks of like it, this is all armor. All weapons. Um, there's a few things that I would consider changing. Like you. You, you, you. And these are fine. Hmm. Weird, weird name I get. Wow, that's actually quite, that's quite heavy. It's nice. So we got a tactical cube now, and um, 597, and a whopping. How long will it take him to build? 4,800. But this is our Titan. This is the uh, the Titan class. No, the Omega cube. Wow. We need this one. Um, we will definitely have to see how it would work in, in, in a fleet. Let's do it like this. It is a Titan. Oh, we can have three in one fleet. And we would still be in our naval cap. Whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. That would be... If we can have three. We have three fleets at the moment. We could add a tactical cube in, in all of our would that be possible? How much would you need? 125 is the ship size. I'm actually considering just doing tactical cubes. A fleet with all, all, all tactical cubes. Just one. And we would build it with unit complex one. I, I'm, I'm okay with that actually. Let's, uh, let's get started. Um, new fleet. Add ship design tactical cube. Let's add three. Glorious, glorious, 25,000 alloys, uh -huh. 1,500 drones, um, do we have the rest, uh, no, processed dilithium, we need more, and um, how about the other one, um, talon crystals, we need 700, so let us start by, um, by starting to make sure that we actually get Close to at least something. Let's add a bunch more of you. Yeah, we're going to be buying all of this. And we're going to be making sure that we're getting our very first tactical 
ship out. Uh, I guess it, it should work. How much in terms of alloys were we talking? 8,600 and something. Damn. Damn, guys. Holy. That's insane. Love it. Absolutely love it. Yeah, I'll, I'll change this a bit later. We don't have to do it right now. Um, I think I'll end up the video here. I'm going to take a look at my um, complexes, see what I can change. We have a room for 17 more star bases. That's a lot of naval cap. That is a lot of naval cap. I can tell you that. Uh, hopefully the next time we get back, and I will get back as soon as we get a pop-up from Fluidic Space, because it will trigger something. So... Hope you enjoyed, hope to see you next time, have a good one and I'll see you tomorrow, bye bye.